Welcome to Monday. Welcome to the session. Today's conversation is about trying harder is not the answer. Trying harder is not the answer. And the reason with this story and the reason today is because over the last six, seven days from two different books, I noticed the same idea that trying harder is not the answer. And in both of them, it says uh, it's not about just pushing and forcing and making things that way. You do have to work hard. You do have to uh, do and take the action, but it's not the old way. And these two books are, you know, basically from Think and Grow Rich says, if you think by working hard, uh, you're going to get rich or you're going to get really that next level results, perish the idea. And that's why 95% of the people are stuck. And then in this book with uh, Price Richard, it's called You Square. Uh, it's the same thing. He said, trying harder is not the answer. So, and it's a true story that I'm going to share with you here, right from the beginning pages of this book from Price Pritchard. It's really a priceless book. I've read it a few times, but now the information is getting in at a much better pace. So I want you to listen in. So uh, this is right in the first few pages, a true story. And this is Price Pritchard talking to us in, in this book. And he said, in sitting, I'm sitting in a quiet room, at the Millcroft Inn, a peaceful little place hidden back among the pine trees about an hour out of Toronto. And I know exactly where that is. It's just past noon, late July, and I'm listening in to the desperate sounds of a life or death struggle going on a few feet away. So an interesting introduction, if you think about storytelling. So he's just talking about death and life struggle. He's sitting in, it's an inn, it's a hotel, a hotel of some sort. So he's setting you up for some really interesting story. There's a small fly burning out the last of its short life's energies in a futile attempt to fly through the glass of the window pane. Now we've all seen that. The whining wings tell the pointing story of the fly strategy. Try harder. And this fly is trying at it. He's going boom, boom, boom towards that window. But it's not working because the fly has been making its way out, but it doesn't work. And that's similar to how sometimes we go out about doing things. We're just trying harder, trying harder, trying harder without opening our mind to new things. So the frenzied effort offers no hope for survival. Ironically, the struggle is part of the trap. The struggle is part of the trap. It is impossible for the fly to try hard enough to succeed at breaking through the glass. Nevertheless, this little insect has stacked its life on reaching its goal through raw effort and determination. This fly is doomed. It will die there on the window sill. So think of this example of where have you been? Where have you been trying uh, so many times like this? And it's just a futile attempt and it doesn't really work and it's not really working, right? This fly is doomed. It will die there on the windowsill. If you stake your hopes for a breakthrough and trying harder than ever, you may kill your chances for success. Across the room, 10 steps away, the door is open. 10 seconds of flying time, and this small creature could reach the outside world it seeks. With only a fraction of the effort now being wasted, it could be free of the self-imposed trap. The breakthrough possibility is there. It would be so easy. Just 10 seconds of flying time. Instead, it's just banging at the window. It's banging at the window. It's banging at the window. Why doesn't the fly try another approach? Something dramatically different. How did it get so locked in on the idea that this particular route and determined effort offer the most promise for success? What logic is there in continuing until death to seek a breakthrough with more of the same? Again, think of that project. Think of that time. Think of that thing that you're trying to do. Think of that weight loss you're trying to do. Think of that money you're trying to raise and it's not really working. And you're trying harder and harder and harder and harder. And that's what the fly is trying to do. So he's bringing you this amazing, incredible example. Why doesn't it think of a different approach? How come it doesn't see it? No doubt this approach makes sense to the fly. Now, the fly sees it as the only thing. And in any energy project you've been in, you probably say, that's what you got to do. You got to get back up and going. You got to back up and running. No doubt this approach makes sense to the fly. Regrettably, it's an idea that will kill. Trying harder isn't necessarily the solution to achieving more. It may not offer any real promise for getting what you want out of life. Sometimes, in fact, it's a big part of the problem. 
because we are programmed to work hard. We are programmed to push. We're programmed to force and force negates. As you understand the laws of the universe and the laws of cause and effect and uh, the law of you know, attraction and vibration, you know, force negates. Sometimes, in fact, it's a big part of the problem when you force things. If you stake your hopes for a breakthrough and trying harder than ever, you might kill your chances for success. Price Bridget. It's a really priceless book. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go through it over the next, you know, whatever, 30, 40 days. And we'll read a bit like this. But I want you to think of an example or two where you've been trying harder, where you've been struggling, where you've been hitting da-da-da-da-da. And how, what if a different approach comes in and opens up a door for you? What if your higher side of you, your imagination, your intuition, your perception, your reason could be expanded so you have this expansion of ideas to let you in on yourself for a much different approach? How would that be? See, when you work on something with somebody that's done it, it's so much easier. Whereas we are have this, we have this tunnel view, right? And we just tunnel in. So I want you to think of this example about the fly, how it's trying harder on the window and eventually it's going to die. You know that and I know that. And 10 seconds away, she could escape and off it goes. So how many times like that in life we have been there? This also applies to me. This also applies to some of my clients. And that's just the way it works because we got locked in. But what we need, we need fresh ideas. We need fresh perspective. We need a different perspective from somebody else. Wisdom and ideas come from outside to you. Now, it's in you and we have to get it out of you. But you need somebody speaking that wisdom and that insight into your life. So I want to repeat this last line again. If you stake your hopes for a breakthrough and trying harder than ever, you might kill your chances for success. So I hope this inspired you on this Monday morning. If you're listening to it on a Monday, it doesn't matter what day of the week, but today is Monday. So happy day, happy beginning of a whole new week. And it's just exciting where it's going to go because the next bunch of chapters in here are incredible. And uh, we're going to dig into that a little bit more as we go through the week and uh, talk to you soon. If this inspired you, make it happen. And uh, I look forward to meeting you soon. Take care.